Hey guys, this is me all the way back with another video and as you can see I am a little happy it is because I had an exam today and as you must have read from the title it was the Azure AZ900 now it is the Azure Cloud Fundamentals exam so it's not super difficult but yeah so I had it on my list and I wanted to get the certification to get started with you know getting additional certificates in the future so this was the first step now i want to keep this video short and quickly give you my exam uh, overview how my experience was any tips and suggestions if you want to give the exam and some uh, tips on how you could prepare for the exam so let's get started i give my exam uh, at pearson view exam test center which is at cimt so it's in brampton uh, i think it's on her ontario and Stevens with those in Ramden. So you have two options. You can either give it from your home. Uh, it's a self proctored exam. I think you just need to turn on your web camera and you can give your exam from your home. Or you can go in for a test center as well. But when you're giving it from home, uh, they have some strict rules and policies. So, you know, there are high chances if there's some background noise or anything that happens, you might have an exam disqualification because of that, right? Uh, so you can check that out. And with me, I live with quite a few people. Um, and it, it was a Sunday so you know I, it's hard to ask everyone to be quiet so anyway I decided to give it at the exam center so I reached there uh, they advise you to reach there approximately an hour before like 30 minutes early but I was just on time I just reached there like 10 minutes before the exam started or start time sorry I reached there at 12.50 and uh, what they needed was just an ID a photo ID that uh, has your name and your picture on it then uh, I think that is it and then they click a picture and you will have to do some digital signatures once you're done with that you're good to go and sit in front of the computer that is how you give your exam with me I think it was approximately 11 more people who were uh, giving the exam and it was pretty smooth when you start the exam first off uh, you come across a part where it asks you about a section where it says tell us about yourself so they'll ask you questions about your skill uh, on Azure so they'll ask you to rate yourself you know uh, below average average above average highly skilled you have some questions like that and they'll ask you like uh, rate yourself on Azure app services your knowledge on Azure app services and then rate your knowledge on Azure uh, trust center compliance policies stuff like that so it has sections has total seven questions that's what I had. Um, I chose moderate for most of them because I did study for it but I didn't want to give highly skilled because I was thinking of like hey what if the exam is based off this now I don't know if the exam is actually based off it or not it could be related but I don't know for sure uh, if you know about it do comment below so that others watching this video can get an idea okay moving on so in my exam uh, I got 35 questions it was an R uh, like to give you one hour to write the exam it's all mcqs or uh, drag and drop and uh, that is all about it and questions i think differ from 30 to 45 i think that's the range of questions it just depends on uh, the exam set that you get uh, you could get 30 35 40 45 questions it just depends you can also check updates from microsoft and they you know keep updating the website based on new exam updates so i have 35 questions and you'd be surprised i completed my exam in hardly 11 minutes so i went in at 12:57, and i was out in like 12 110 before that so i just gave my exam fortunately what happened all the questions that i got in the exam i already had seen most of those questions now how did i see them so uh, initially i did a microsoft training that is instructor based uh, it is free of cost i'll drop the link in the description you can go sign up for it uh, you'll have microsoft instructors do a live class it's two days and i think there are four sessions i'd say i'd really recommend that because first of all it's free of cost and you can you know grasp much better if it's a live instructor who's teaching you rather than just reading some text and once you're done with that uh, workshop you also get a free voucher to do the exam that's how i gave my exam for free so if you don't get the voucher you have to pay a hundred dollars for the exam uh, but if you do attend the microsoft workshop you get a one-time voucher that you can use to book your exam and that is free of course free for the first time 
so i did that but that was a month ago like there was a month gap between when i did the training and when i gave my exam because i i'm working two jobs and uh, it's been difficult to you know take out time and study and i was not that confident in the beginning to be honest like hey i don't know if i'm still ready for the exam or but so i originally scheduled it for an earlier date but then i rescheduled the exam to today and then i gave my exam i was like no you know what even if i fail that's fine but i'll give my exam today so two days before the exam i went over the microsoft training uh, material that is on their website it is free of cost and you don't even need an account to sign up for that it's just all text and some videos here and there so go over that read it it will take you approximately four to five hours just depends on how you know quick you read it i just skimmed through most of it because I already knew a lot of it and like some parts were new like some parts needed some attention but some parts were you know easy because i knew most of it like uh, i'd say azure regions azure compliance policies and azure networks i knew already about that because i did read about it in the past and you know one pro tip would be to be really attentive in the workshops that you attend because they they not go over the questions, but they'll go over the topics and they go over the important topics. So if you are just present in the moment, if you just listen to what they're saying, it should be good. Once you're done with the class and once you're done reading, skimming through uh, Microsoft's website, then I recommend the final step, which helped me the most, is go and watch some videos on YouTube, like the recent uploads. Uh, search for exam dumps and you'll come across a lot of videos. I used to. Um, I'll post the link in the description. They're a month older. They're a bit old, so you might want to go for an updated version. So whenever you're having the exam, just look it up, and whatever is the latest uh, video, you can go with that. So the two videos that I watched were both one and a half hour each, or like two hours each. Went over those. There were one twenty questions each, in both the videos, and most of the questions were actually repetitive in the video itself and in the exam as well. So when I came across those questions in the exam, I already knew uh, the answers without even looking at the options, right? But the tip here is uh, when you look at the videos, you should already have an understanding or you should already know uh, the material so that you're not memorizing the answers, you already know the answers and you try to attempt the answers and then you look at the answer, then you know, you check if you answered it right or not. So then watch the videos. And I think that's all about it. And after that, uh, you should be good to go in and give your exam. Just be confident. Don't be nervous. Uh, the exam is super easy. It just took like 10 minutes for me. And other people there were also not facing any difficulties, I think. Because it's a fundamental exam for Microsoft. So they don't make it that difficult. And now I'm planning to give the Azure uh, Certified Admin, Cloud Administrator. Which is, I believe, AZ103. So I'll start uh, preparing for it. I'll make a video on how I prepare and when I give that exam to help any one of you who's interested in that, right? So I really hope that this video helped uh, you understand and maybe you got some insights into the exam and what to expect. Do let me know if you have any questions, type them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Until then, take care.